going to the border, you guys. Our border Zarina is visiting a border. Unfortunately, it's not the U.S.-Mexico border where two million immigrants have been arrested in just the last 11 months. <laughs> oh, that would be too practical if she went there. She's going to the demilitarized zone, the border between North and South Korea. Yes, that all-important border that is at the very top of the list in terms of priorities for voters who are already hotly pissed and deeply disappointed in an administration that's letting the economy crater while inflation festers. If the president is a mumbling, sleepy fool who can't string two sentences together, then we at least need the Veep to step in and say, Joe, people are hurting. Stuff is way too expensive. Let me help and explain while we fix this. Instead, she looks around, sees an incompetent meatwad in the Oval Office who couldn't hit himself in the ass with a banjo and goes, you think you look like an out-of-touch dum-dum? Hold my beer. And there she goes, drunk with ambition and failed political instincts, to the two Koreas to do what? Boost her foreign policy prowess? No wonder her approval ratings are lower than Kelly Ripa's BMI. Okay, remorseful voters, what did you think intersectionality was going to buy you? A political scientist in a pantsuit? This administration is failing because they're addicted to optics, as opposed to being concerned with reality. And the reason they think people are hurting is because the lie wasn't explained clearly enough, or the picture wasn't absurd enough to sell a rotten bill of goods. If the vice president knew what was good for her, and especially for the nation, she'd get the hell back here, start taking immigration far more seriously, and roll up her sleeves to complete an actual task instead of trying to look busy. Kamala, in case you hadn't noticed, People are busy trying to find a politician worth their salt who cares about finding solutions and implementing that four-letter word Democrats have grown to despise. Freedom. And that's the memo. All right, the migrant crisis is a full-blown disaster. The numbers prove it. According to the CBP, uh, border officials found, listen to this, 267,000 unaccompanied migrant children uh, they are basically on the loose since Biden took office. That is horrible news. The vice president still claims the border is secure because it has to be secure. So why wouldn't it be secure? Is that why she's visiting the wrong border? The man panel has returned Jason Meister, Chris Hahn, and Spike Cohen. Um, so, Jason, I will start with you. I want our country to succeed. I want our vice president to do well. Uh, she's doing a very poor job here. Why is she going to North and South Korea? Well, Kennedy, I mean, she said the border's secure, so she doesn't think there is a border crisis at our southern border. I, I think that's the point. The Biden administration ran on open borders. They're purposefully flooding our country with millions of illegal immigrants. We're averaging over 8,000 illegal crossings per day. We have, we've, have, we've had over 4 million illegal immigrants that have crossed our southern border since Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have taken office. 12,000 unaccompanied children. And we've had, in the last two months alone, more fentanyl that's crossed our southern border than the entirety of 2019 under President Trump, which, by the way, is the single killer of all of our children. So, of course, naturally, our border czar is going to the DMZ instead of the southern border. All right. So fentanyl is a problem. It's not being marketed to children. It's not killing children. It's killing a lot of people who are using things that wouldn't kill them if they were, in fact, legal in this country. That I'm going to save uh, for Spike. But, Chris, I want to know from you, why is she doing this? Is it, is it a foreign policy optic? Because it doesn't help anyone. No one cares here. It doesn't help the country. It doesn't help her with voters. What's the point? <laughs> Well, we have 30,000 troops stationed at the 38th parallel. So it would be good when our vice president is there to visit them. And that is exactly what she's doing. Oh she's in God. Asia doing trade business for the United States of America because we have an economy that needs help. And she's over there trying to help it. And while she's there, she's visiting our servicemen and women who are ably serving this country in Korea. I'm amazed that the Republicans want to diss the troops and yeah, not wanna, visit them yeah, if they were there. They, they it is diss sad the troops. to hear that. Now, what, how many, they, hey, Chris, how oh, many they, troops oh, do we would. have? They're hey, dissing them right now Chris, by doing many, what they're doing. Okay, no, you, that, that is, 
you are taking a talking point that someone else wrote and you warped <laughs> yeah. it like a wet the 45. The Republicans wrote it during the Bush administration okay. and I'm bringing it right so back how because many, it's apt. How many troops are in Africa and Germany? Should she go there as well? Or should she be concerned about what is happening on the southern border? Now, Spike, in terms of the war on drugs, if the vice president were serious about anything, even the troops, uh, don't you think she would be talking about why so many people are displaced, the real reason? One would think. I mean, I think the reason she does most of what she does is the same reason, reason why she avoided debating me and in, instead chose to debate Mike Pence and his pet fly. I think that I she that. is about, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, optics over substance. Specific to this issue, we've kind of buried the lead here a little bit. Close to 300,000 unaccompanied children have been sent by their parents to a foreign country that yes. they have no knowledge of because it's better than the alternative, which is staying in their home countries where they're being slaughtered wholesale by cartel uh, drug lords who are taking over the country. And that is a direct result of the fact that those drug lords became wealthy the exact same way that the alcohol drug lords of the past became wealthy in this country, and that is through prohibition of substances. If we recognize the fact that you're not going to make Make the demand for it go away, and you're certainly not going to make the supply for it go away, and that the war on drugs is doing nothing but empowering some of the most worst and most violent criminals on this continent or on this land mass, and that's directly causing all of the violence that we're seeing that is causing people to send their children unaccompanied to another country. Until we address that, it's never going to end under Republicans or Democrats or anyone else. Yes. Until we end the war on drugs, we are continuing to empower some of our worst enemies who are doing immeasurable violence in their home countries, well, and there are going to be surges of people that are trying to flee it until that ends. And, and Spike, you bring up a good point, because the people who are in uniform, who've been deployed to places uh, like the Koreas and uh, Germany and Africa, they do so not because they need accolades and high fives. They did so willingly, because we don't have active conscription right now in this country. Uh, and also, to your point, Spike, you've got three 100,000 children, that's 10 times as many children who were sent here alone to be abused along the way. But Chris somehow thinks it's more important optically for the vice president to be overseas when right here in this country, we've got real suffering and abuse. How dare you, Chris Hahn? No, I, I think How we should behave like the Christian you. nation we pretend to be and welcome them in and help them. But we don't. No, we don't because, because our vice not. president is overseas we're not. at the wrong border. Because it's a hypocritical and she's thing a we say we are. We're not. Person. All right, Anybody stop talking. Anybody yeah, who read stop the book talking. of Matthew yeah, just like would be saying, "Come, children, Chris. come yeah, on." Martha's to me. Vineyard welcomed the illegal immigrants right on to Christ. Send them to Martha's Island. Vineyard, Chris. That'd be amazing.